Hello everyone, and welcome back to another BAM repair video. Today we're going to replace the battery in an A1707 MacBook Pro. That's the 15 inch from 2017. Now we're recording our own process, but if you'd like to perform this repair yourself, we encourage you to look at the step-by-step -step guide from ifixit.com for more in-depth instructions, especially for this computer. Link in the description. Now the tools we're going to need today are a P5 Penelope screwdriver, a T8 Torx screwdriver, a T5 Torx screwdriver, a T3 Torx screwdriver, 90% isopropyl alcohol or any other adhesive remover, a spudger, and a replacement battery. Now the optional tools, you could also use a guitar pick or a slim card, a suction cup, or a pair of tweezers. Before beginning, it's recommended that the battery be depleted below 25%. Then we power off the MacBook, flip it over to show the bottom side, and get started. First, we're going to use our P5 Penelope screwdriver to remove the screws around the bottom lid of the case. Now keep in mind that these screws are all different lengths, so keep them separated. That's going to be common inside this computer. Next, we'll pull off the lid by sliding it in a downward motion. Do not pull up on it until it's unclipped from the machine. Set aside. Next, we use our T3 Torx screwdriver to remove the cover from the trackpad cable and unclip the connector. After that, we peel off the battery board cover. Now, there are all kinds of clips and screws of different size to remove from this logic board using our T3, T5, and T8 Torx screwdrivers. Refer to the iFixit tutorial for the type and location of each one. It's a lot. Once the battery is unscrewed and unclipped from the logic board, we apply our alcohol remover to the cracks and crevices to loosen it from the casing because it's glued in. Then we use our spudger to slowly and gently lift up on the battery. We work our way in from the edges and are very careful not to bend or puncture it. Once the battery is loose, we lift up slowly to separate it from the case, making sure everything is unclipped before pulling it away. We don't want to accidentally tear any cables. The battery is now free. All that's left to do is grab our replacement battery, peel off the adhesive shield, and place it sticky side down back into the case. We carefully check all the spots where the adhesive sticks down, and then reconnect the battery board, screwing it back in with our T5 Torx. Then, we return the clips and screws to all the various parts of the MacBook's logic board. Again, for a complete diagram of each screw and clip in the proper order, consult the iFixit tutorial. They have lots of photos and detailed descriptions. Finally, we replace the battery board cover, replace the lid, remembering to push it upwards and not straight down onto the computer, and then flip it back over. We'll give it a quick test and make sure the battery works and accepts power. Looks good. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And visit us online at bamliquidation.com.